It's 4.30 in the morning, ready to go to Vegas, and we're ready for our flight. What's up, loser? We're almost late. See you there. So I made it to the airport, and it's uh, sunrise right now. So that's great, and uh, I always like to take a uh, picture of where we park, so T-71. See you guys on the plane. So this is the Luxor, it's a massive pyramid with the Sphinx, and the eSports Center arena. That's what I said. So this is our hotel, Neon Games, as far as the eye can see. Alright, so this is our room, it's uh, pretty nice. Not bad, not bad. Got a nice TV, got a little little stand over here. And then we got this pyramid shaped window because we are inside a massive black pyramid. That's not bad. That's uh yeah, you can see the mountains in the background. Nice. Cool. And then the uh, hotel next door. Not only did you not DNF, you got here first. 
There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Greg right FPS. That is in all the trials and tribulations of his practices, not being able to get a great run, and, you know, it's very frustrating. He was able to complete it today here in Vegas. It's what everyone wanted to see, baby. Now, uh, another cut to play on Greg's side. Chopper finishing up his panthers again. Chopper's in the season. No! Oh, oh my god! god. At the end of the boss oh fight. my god, that from the boss fight. He had one more cycle left, and unfortunately, the flamethrower from the panther did the best of him. So unfortunately. Blink. These casinos are laid out the exact same, they just have different vibes. Planet Hollywood feels like a uh, modern nightclub. So instead of crosswalks, there's all these neat bridges just over the street. I'm digging it. Why don't, why does everywhere do this? So, New York, New York has like a shopping district, which is pretty neat. And then it goes into this pretty modern, like, uh, architecture looking casino. I dig it. So if you ever get lost and you're trying to find the Luxor, look for the giant beam in the sky. So we've got a smidgen left of our hundred ounce, and uh, yeah, we got some shots. Clink, clink. arena right now we went up the stairs and um there's this awesome hallway this should be awesome for like a music video or something and then right here is the uh the boss level room that you would get for a three thousand dollar ticket but it's for five people so i mean it's like 600 each for three days 200 a day i don't know it sounds like a cool experience but like that's a lot of money for a lot of people this hallway though is wild I love it, I wanna get one in my house. Well, we 
stood up until 5.30, so, uh, that means that the sun's coming up. Welcome to Vegas, everybody. Survivors is the clear cut winner of this particular challenge just because he was able to make it to 27. Survivors, they're doing their thing, but I'm more interested to see what's going on with Ganon and King Man here. Oh my gosh, this is going to come down to just the precise kills. Ganon here with his death machine seems to be killing a little bit more than King Man at the moment. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is the end of the competition. It looks like Ganon may have got more kills at the last second. So this is the shortest TSA ever. It was just like that on the way here too. That's crazy. Coming home from Vegas, I got a layover in Dallas and on this escalator, immediately smell barbecue. So I know what we're getting for dinner. We made it back to the airport, and when we got here on Friday, we parked in Terminal D. Well, when we got back today, we got here to Terminal B. And A, B, and C are connected, and D, E, and F are connected, but not to those separate groups. So, we had to walk all the way outside, go down three terminals, come back inside just to go across a bridge to get to the parking lot and find pillar number 72. Oh, this has been a long trip. 
Well, we made it back home, and what was supposed to be home at around like 11.45, due to those delays and the 40 minutes of walking around the airport, it's now 2.30, so good night, everybody. Oh, side note, I like Vegas dry heat over Pennsylvania wet heat. A humid 84 feels so much hotter than a dry 100. Good night.